2028, the MiG-31 interceptor will no longer exist. We have time to develop a new aircraft as a replacement, said Sergei Korotkov from Mika Jan Gurevich on Saturday, December 23, 2023. Instead, Mikhail Gurevich is developing the MiG-41 which will later become operational when the MiG-31 is retired. The MiG-41 itself is a project designed by Mikhail Gurevich to continue the success of two previous generation fighter aircraft, the MiG-25 and MiG-31. The MiG-25 is known to be capable of flying at a speed of Mach 3.2, while the MiG-31 has a maximum speed of up to Mach 2.8. Both are still used for military operations by Russia and several of its client countries today, but their operational period is expected to end soon. The manufacturer said that the MiG-31 itself is predicted to end its useful life in 2028. If the MiG-41 really operates according to plan and is not just a daydream, this aircraft will be a tough competitor for the United States' sixth-generation next-generation air dominance MGAD. because this fighter plane has a super-fast speed of Mach 4 to Mach 5. In fact, some observers think there is a similarity to Dark Star in the film Top Gun, Maverick, starring Tom Cruise, even though NATO countries think this is just a daydream. According to the TASS Russian news agency page, the MiG-41 will be the future fighter aircraft of the Russian military. The MiG-41 itself was designed by Mika Jan Gurevich in two different variants, namely a manned version and an interceptor variant. Both function as spy planes with very high speeds and altitudes. With the stealth capabilities of the MiG-41, it is also claimed that this latest generation fighter aircraft has superiority that is difficult to match in the air. It doesn't stop there, the MiG-41 is also equipped with an extraordinary ramjet or turbo ramjet engine. This engine is what drives this fighter to be able to travel at speeds of Mach 4 to 5. In fact, this aircraft is also expected to be able to fly to near outer space heights. With this height, the MiG-41 is expected to be able to carry anti-satellite guided missiles to destroy enemy satellites in low Earth orbit LEO, as well as carry hypersonic guided missiles. The Overclockers report states that the capabilities of the MiG-41 are considered to have no rival in its class. The Russian Ulet shows that it is time for the MiG-41 to take center stage and replace the older fourth-generation fighter jet, the MiG-31, which so far is still quite formidable on the battlefield. The MiG-31, despite its age, has an impressive track record. The Soviet-era fighter jet can target objects even in near space, intercept ballistic and cruise missiles. Even the newest variant, the MiG-31K, has hypersonic missile capability. However, despite the MiG-31's impressive performance, Russia's need for a new long-range interceptor jet has been known for some time. The first attempt at extensive modernization of the MiG-31 was the MiG-31M, which appeared in 1993. According to official reports, the grounding of the MiG-31M project was due to financial difficulties. But some say that the real reason is because of pressure from the United States which does not want Russia to strengthen its military further. While the technical specifications of this new development remain classified, there is speculation that the MiG-41 will be able to match the speed of supersonic high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft. This distinctive feature is also shared by United States and Chinese aircraft which are rivals to the MiG-41. Russian reports indicate that the MiG-41 will operate in near-space conditions, reaching speeds exceeding Mach 3. 
The aircraft is said to be capable of launching satellites into low orbit, intercepting hypersonic missiles and doing various other things. These seemingly grandiose claims led the United States to dub the MiG-41 a fantasy, although it is too early to definitively categorize the MiG-41 as a figment or bluff. There appears to be significant progress in Russia's PAC-DP project.